So quick start here. No paces in this one, I don't believe. So the girls are out racing. This is the first of our women's open 15s. We'll culminate with the a 1500 metres later, which will feature Abby Caldwell. Also Claudia Hollingsworth, Morty Skyring. And also Keely Small, I believe, racing tonight. So good lineup in that women's A15, but we've now got the F15 on the line. And we'll pick up our runners as they come through the finish line for the first time. So our early leader, Grace McKenzie. Then we have Erin Maloney, Diamond Valley. So Ruby Alice moving nicely. From Mornington Peninsula up there early. Charlotte O'Brien as well. Just coming through the line now, Stella Spink alongside Ebony Woodward. So a little bit of field coming together there at the moment. It is Gracie McKenzie. She's got a 5.20 time. It's sort of around the top seeds. I think top seeds around the 5.16 mark in this race. And they're all starting to come together again. So there's probably a race in about 10, 11 or 12 at the moment. As they're moving around nicely. So a few little changes out front here as we see that bunch really starting to form together now. So working well. Very hard to spot a winner out of this group at the moment. A few of the girls launching nicely. I think Erin Maloney's still doing a bit of the work out front. Now see Rose Walsh going down the outside. I think Walsh might want to settle into a, a leading position there. Also up there, Millicent Fraser, she's one of our top seeds. Charlotte O'Brien, Ruby Alice still in the mix. Harriet Hutchins going through. So Ebony Woodward coming through. Stella Spink next position there. But out front, it's still our Diamond Valley runner. I'm looking quite solid at the moment, going through the 800 metre mark. So we're going to get a really good fix on time as they come through the 1K. So as I said, they're sitting around that 5.15 through to 5.20 mark is the lead bunch. As we see, some gaps starting to form. That was a really tight pack only about 300 metres ago, but you can see the difference that that little bit of distance will now make as they start to put the pace down a little bit. Conditions not too, too bad out here. Still a bit of a breeze coming down the home straight. That means that they'll be getting it four times in this 1500 metres as they go down the back straight into the wind. But it is the young lady from Diamond Valley, Erin Maloney, still leading the way here. And she's starting to stretch that lead over Rose Walsh from Melbourne University. So very impressive performance this one. She's going to come down to get the bell. So Maloney leads, Welch, Millicent Fraser, one of our top seeds in next position, then O'Brien from Morning Peninsula. O'Reilly in the pack there, also Charlie Newman, also there was the early leader there in McKenzie. Coming through now, Elizabeth Maherji from Mansfield. Then we have Harriet Hutchins, Isla Mibben coming through. Also Summer Alberson. Then we have Ebony Woodward. And coming through to get the bell now. It will be Stella Spink. But out front, looks like the race is now on. Maloney, not too far behind now. Rose Walsh from Melbourne University. So they're just approaching 4.40 on the clock. So it's going to be some good times being run here. They're going to be just probably a shade over the five minute mark, I think. Walsh now challenging Maloney for the first time. So Maloney just goes again. So Walsh and Maloney really going for it here. And I think on the outside, might just have the momentum with Walsh. 
Just ticked over five minutes now, so impressive running both Walsh and Maloney. And they'll be stopping the clock around 5.06, 5.07. Big run through there from Charlotte O'Brien from Mornington. She's got a best time of 5.20, well under that. And then we have Millicent Fraser. She's going to run a PB there. Her best was 5.16. Big finish here from Ruby Alice. Just trying to challenge uh, Gracie McKenzie, but McKenzie just finishes ahead here. Also through there, Charlie Newman, she had a 5.30 time, she's broken that tonight. A rally's through in about her PB. Now coming through, Animal Quinney South Bendigo. And that's right on PB form for her. Miven through now, 5.43 was her best, right on the target there. Woodward. Then we have Summer Alberson coming across the line there with Harriet Hutchins. And let's get behind Stella Spink here. She'll be our final finisher in the women's F1500 metres. So Spink stopping the clock just the other side of six minutes in a very competitive women's F1500 metres.